mark. Get set. Go! Get those tubes off! These two teams are competing head-to-head, -head, trying to cover their partners with inner tubes. Whoever stacks them up first will cover the lead with 20 bucks, and control of the game while being sloppy can mess up your brain. Who's first? One more. Who's going to go? Oh, they did it over here, Bailey. Nice job. Congratulations. Let's get those tires off and it's move over. Super Wait. Sloppy Double Dare. And now, here's your Super Sloppy Double Dare host, Mark Summers. Hi there. Thanks, audience. Thank you, Harvey. Welcome to Double Dare, the show where we run through a crazy obstacle course in the process, win eight fabulous prizes. Two great teams, and boy, that was a close toss up there. We'll say hello to the team on my right, as we always do. They call themselves the Doodads. Say hello to Heather and Colt. Hi, Heather. Hi. I'm just tearing up my stuff down there. Things are falling from the bottom there. It says you've been dancing for 10 years. Aren't you tired by now? Or uh... Not really. <laughs> what kind of dancing do you do? Um, ballet, modern, tap, jazz. Toe. That's, yeah, that's great. Everything. I, I always wanted to take tap dancing lessons when I was a kid, but my mom wouldn't let me. I don't know. Is it hard to do? Not really, okay. if you're coordinated. If you're coordinated. That's why she didn't <laughs> let me do it. Okay. And Colt, uh, you jet ski. Now, I've always wanted to do that. Is that exciting? Yeah. Is it hard to learn? No. Nah. Not at all, huh? How often do you get to go? In the summer, almost like every day. Okay. No money just yet. That'll change as time goes on. This next team has a very bizarre name. They call themselves the Endoplasmic Reticulum. Say hello to Dominic and Nicole. <laughs> Nicole, did you come up with this name? <laughs> we stumped her, ladies and gentlemen. She has no idea if she came up with the name. And uh, gosh, uh, now you were the first girl to play street hockey in, in your neighborhood league. Was yes. that like breaking new ground in your area or something? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I nice guess so, huh? What position do you play? Center. Okay, good. And uh, Dominic, uh, how do you pronounce your last name? Bonfiglio. Bonfiglio. I saw it written down here. I just wanted to make sure I got it right. You're a hockey player as well. Do you play ice hockey or street hockey? Um, street hockey. All right. Sounds good. You have $20, and uh, let's talk about the rules on Double Dare. I'm going to be asking you a question, and if you don't know the answer or think the other team hasn't got a clue, you can dare them to answer it for double the dollars. But be careful, because they can always Double Dare you back for four times the amount, and then you either have to answer that question or take the physical challenge. Good luck to the doodads. The endoplasmic reticulums have control and a $10 question. In what 1988 movie, was there a character named Baby Herman? Would bring you to 30, or you could dare them. Dare him. Now worth $20. Tie the game right away. What uh, movie was there a character named Baby Herman? Or you could double dare them back. Dare. Okay, it's uh, up to you. $40 to the physical challenge. Physical challenge. Audience, do you know? <laughs> Who framed Roger Rabbit? That's it, and we have a physical challenge. Step down right over here, if you would, please. Well, why don't you step right over here. Now, other shows try to uh, emulate what we do and, and make huge messes, but, but they'll never be able to come close to this next one. I'd like you to step right over here and take a look at our cookie conveyor belt. Just move all the way down here. We have some cookies. Uh, they sort of look like cookies, and we have a cream machine. Now, one of you needs to pump the cream. The way you do that is you just lift this up and go back and forth. Now, who wants to do that? You want to do that, Dom? Yeah, she can do that. She can do that. Oh, okay, why don't you just step right over here? Then your job is to come right over here, and what I want you to do is catch the cookies. Sound pretty easy? You don't know yet. Well, here's what I want you to do. We'll put some goggles on, and the reason we're going to put those goggles on is because I'd like you to lay your head right down back over here, okay? There you go. Turn around. Yeah, that's it. And uh, lay all the way down. See? Just like you're in, in bed. No, you don't have to do the limbo here. You just have to lay down and to do that. All right, put your uh, head on this uh, pillow. Put your head on my No, we won't do that. Anyway, and uh, we will start the cookie conveyor belt in a matter of moments. When that starts, you have to lift this up and make sure cream gets on the cookies. They will be moving in this direction, and you have to make a chocolate cookie sandwich, sort of like an Oreo. So you get one cookie, put another cookie on top of it, put it in the bowl. If you have six, six cookie sandwiches in 30 seconds over there, we're going to give you $40. Otherwise, it goes to the other side. Let's see what happens. Good luck. On your mark. Get set. Go. Start pumping that cream. Get that cream going. Okay, let these cookies go down. Sandwich, and you stay away where you are. They clean up this mess, and we'll have forty dollars in our store. Come back and play lots more super sloppy double there right after this.
Super Sloppy Double Dare, where the endoplasmic reticulums made some cookie sandwiches, got $40 added to their score. They have $60 currently, and another $10 question. What U.S. president was nicknamed the Great Emancipator? Bring up to 70, or you could dare them. <laughs> dare. Dare? Okay, now it's worth 20. Come on, let's get on the board. What U.S. president was nicknamed the Great Emancipator? Bring it to 20, or you could double dare him back. Double dare. dare. Double dare, okay. It's worth 40, or another physical challenge. Physical challenge. It was Abe Lincoln, and we have another messy physical challenge coming your way right about now. I always uh, had relatives who cooked very good, and one of her, one of the names was was Aunt Tessie, and I'd like one of you to be Aunt Tessie. You look like a great Aunt Tessie. Go all the way over there, and uh, we'll dress him up like Aunt Tessie, and you go over there next to Dave uh, and uh, take a look at some pots. We have some pots over here that have some uh, tomato sauce in them, and uh, actually each one of the three pots does have tomato sauce. You're going to take those pots in just a second. What we're going to do is make some uh, chicken catapulti, as a matter of fact, and uh, we have some little chickies over here, and what we're going to do is put the chickens down in this direction. And Robin, could you demonstrate how we'd like those chickens to get from one side of the stage to the other? There you go. Boom. Just like that. Very nice, Robin. All right. Now, what you have to do is catch those chickens in the pot. You have to catch three chickens, one in each pot, in 20 seconds or less. Now, after you get started, you can move up, okay? Now, uh, you may want to be careful there because those chickens may be flying over your head. You can pick up the pot, get one in. Same thing for two and three. 20 seconds for three chickies. Let's see what happens. Robin's going to be helping you out. On your mark. Get set, go! Here comes the first chicken. Oh, it's a little high in the Little chicken catapulti there. Actually, uh, those were conservative chickens, I understand. Uh, they may have been Tories. It could have been chicken catcher Tory, but we don't know. $40 for the doodads. They are just $20 behind, and they have a $10 question. Zing, yes. Hoe cakes and silver dollars are slang for what kind of food? You bring it to 50, or you could dare them. Quickly. Dare. All right, now we're at 20. Hoe cakes, silver dollars, slang for what kind of food? Double dare. Oh, my. Uh, $40 for the physical challenge, do you know? Pancakes? Yes, pancakes is the answer. And $40, you now have a $20 lead. Now, were you playing strategy there, or did you just remember it at the last minute? I, I, I remembered it. Oh, good. Okay, well, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, Heather and Cold is your next question. Who said, we would know mankind better if we were not so anxious to resemble one another? Was it Goethe, a German philosopher? Was it Sartre, a French philosopher? Or was it Michael Jackson, whatever he is? A. A. Goethe, you are right. You now have ninety dollars. The German philosopher said that, and the doodads now have control, and they also had the lead. Tell me, guys, what 1988 movie co-starred Emilio Estevez, Charlie Sheen, and Lou Diamond Phillips? Bring you up to one hundred dollars, you could dare them. Young Guns. You are right, and you have hundred dollars. Young Guns. Did you see that movie? Yeah. Was it any good? Yeah, it's great. Good. All right. In Roman numerals, V plus V equals what? Ten. Uh, that is incorrect. The answer is X. That's what we needed. I said in Roman numerals. So no dare at stake, no money changing place. So we're going to go over here, control to Dominic and Nicole. In 1928, Jacob Schick manufactured the first electric version of what grooming tool? Would bring you to 70. Or you could dare them. Dare. Dare, all right. 1928, Jacob Schick. What did he make? Or you can double dare them back. Bring it to 120. Electric razor. Electric shaver is right. Electric razor is the answer. You have $120. <laughs> and that sound means it's the end of round one. And with $120 to do that, you have to lose $60 over here for the endoplasmic Welcome back to uh, round two on Super Sloppy Double Dare. That means all the dollar values will be doubled. And when you hear this uh, noise right here, 
<laughs> I see. You want to do that again for us? That's the one. That means the game is over. Uh, let's see. We're going for $40 controller round two. Over here we have bowls of ice cream. These are the uh, largest scoops I've ever seen. And in a moment we're going to take them out, place them here on the uh, floor. And you have to take your face, your nose, and get them past this line. And then you have to get them past the line over there. First team to do that, $40 controller round two. Okay, Robin, let's move those big hunks of ice cream out onto the floor. And she went to college for this, kid. So remember, uh, unless you have an education, PhD. All right, that's it. All right, on your mark. Get set, go! Get it over! <laughs> Unbelievable. Let's stand up and let's move over the other direction and play some super sloppy double there. That was very close. I must tell you that at the last minute there, I thought you were going to go way off into the obstacle course, but you got it in the right direction. You have $160, guys. You're still in it because in this round, don't forget, it's 20, 40, and 80 on a double dare. Completed in 1654, the Taj Mahal was built as a what? As a palace, as a tomb, or as a bowling alley? We're 20. Palace. Palace is incorrect. It was a tomb. No dare at stake, no money changing place, but control goes back to Dom and Nicole. With the right makeup on, what movie and TV character is actor Robert England known as? Freddy Krueger. Yes, $80 over there now for the endoplasmic reticulums. Trying to make their move here in round two. Provided there are no changes in the law, in what year will a child born in January 1989 first be able to vote? Bring you up to 100 or you could dare them. Dare. All right, now worth 40. Provided there's no changes in the law, in what year will a child born in January of 89 first be able to vote? Or you could double dare them back. 2007? Yes, 2007. At $40, you have 200 now. 2007. The audience is going crazy there. Clean and jerk is a term used in what sport? We're bringing it to 220, or you could dare them. Could you repeat the question? Sure, clean and jerk. It's a term used in what sport? There. All right, now worth 40. Do you know what sport that term is used in? Or you could double dare them back. Double dare. All right, now worth 80. Do you know what uh, clean and jerk? No, physical it's, challenge. It's a weightlifting. That's where that's used. And we have a physical challenge right over here worth $80. This could really tighten things up or give you a very big lead. That was the first thing. Why don't you step right over here? This is the first time we've uh, seen you guys down here today. And uh, why don't you go down there and see Dave? And I'd like you to come right over here, as a matter of fact. And we want to wipe off your feet. And as a matter of fact, we need to wipe off this floor just a tad because inside here we have some balloons. And Robin's going to show you the balloons inside that trunk. They're helium balloons. That's why she's not lifting it all the way up. When I say go, I want you to pick up a balloon, one, two, three, as many as you can grab, and run over here to your partner. And your partner has to hold on. To these balloons. Now you must have control of five balloons. Now you can put them between your legs, under your arm, under your shirt, but you must have five balloons at the end of 20 seconds. Now that seems easy, right? Kind of. Yeah, well let's make it a little more difficult. We're going to put this gas mask on you because there is a helium gas in those balloons. So this may make it a little bit more difficult to get control. And we're going to put these towels down here because in case it's a little bit too slippery from the ice cream, we want to make sure that you keep your balance. All right? You have to get five from that side of the stage to that side of the stage and have control in 20 seconds. $80 at stake. On your mark. Get set. Go! some more super sloppy double dare. That is the one obstacle in that physical challenge. That is, if you lift that trunk all the way, the balloons disappear. You have to be very careful. But uh, that sound means the end of the game with $200. The doodads have won today's game of super sloppy double dare. All right. $100 a piece, more important, a chance to go to the super sloppy double dare obstacle course. Guys, if we would have come back, you might have had a shot. $80 a piece. Our congratulations for being here. And uh, Harvey, what else do we have for him? Don't you double dare miss.
miss this one. Super Slobby Double Dare Obstacle Course, where the doodads have $200 in their pocket. Time to win big prizes, right? Right. We have a few smaller ones, but the big ones are there as well. And uh, I believe Colt is starting off on My Pet Dinosaur. You're going to want to walk up this dinosaur, and on the other side, you will be pushing down the head. And over here is the flag. Grab that flag, pass it over to your partner, and what's the first prize, Harvey? It's a skateboard, Mark. Radioactive German soundboard. Full science, full features, skateboard, equipment, the field pin, AMFM radio, includes knee and elbow pads from Nash Manufacturing. Now, on time's running out, people get frustrated. Don't do it. I'll tell you why. You see the flag? It's right in the middle. But a split second before you come over here, those will drop down. Reach down, find that flag, pass it over to Colt, and win this. Tyco's four-wheel drive super turbo hopper. Big one twelve scale provides four-wheel drive, four-wheel suspension, and twin turbo motors. And it's from Tyco. Number three today is Lake Double Dare. Just put your hand in this water and get a feel as to uh, what it's like. Ooh, it's a little chilly today. Yes. But you have to dive into that boat. You'll go all the way to the other side. There is a flag. Your partner will be waiting. You'll pass that flag, and then you'll win what? The weather. <laughs> Lots of new obstacles at Super Slobby Double Dare, but here's an old favor that people ask us to keep in, and we do it. It's called Down the Hatch. You lift it up, and you slide down the digestive track. You stand up, you grab a flag, and you win this. A new bike, the Dahan Folder, radically transformed from a small package into an intense performance machine capable of high-velocity cruising. Now you can be the rad performer, Dahan Folder. Who's doing Kid Farm? That's you, Colt. Okay, you get up those uh, steps on that ladder as quick as you can. It's fun to slide down into this part of the sand and crawl way underneath this area. And you reach up there and you grab that flag and you pass it to your partner. And uh, Harvey will tell you what you win. <laughs> Number six is the big kahuna, and I thought I would uh, demonstrate how this one works. Not like that, okay? <laughs> Let me figure out. It's hard to do with a microphone in your hand. Anyway, you reach up here. Don't forget to grab the flag over here. Slide all the way down, pass it, and win this. The Baldwin Explorer portable MIDI electronic keyboard with 16 solo voices, 16 automatic rhythms, and built-in stereo speakers from Baldwin Piano and Organ Company. Number seven is in one ear and out the other, and in there we have earwax. It is disgusting, but you will slide through that earwax, come out to the other side where the flag will be waiting, where your partner will be waiting, and where this prize will be waiting. From <laughs> Any questions? No. How about with you? No. Number eight is the popcorn box. You can push it over. You can reach down and pull it down on top of yourself. Whatever you want to do, it's very light. Buttered popcorn and a flag. Have that flag in your hand in 60 seconds or less. And what's the grand prize today, Harvey? It's a super We are ready to go. We have eight obstacles, we have 60 seconds, we have a screaming audience, and two great contestants. Let's see how they do. On your mark, get set, go! Oh, get up there, grab the flag right here. Two times running out, and see if you can get that flag. Good job, right here, on the seconds, and they are looking all the way across. Looks a little bit tired of the way. Reach up and get the time to go down.
This is your announcer, Harvey Sanders.